Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Today I wanted to share an interesting finding with you. I'm working on this 2010 Subaru Legacy. It's the four cylinder, 2.5 liter single overhead cam, six speed manual, and we're just doing a very standard timing belt replacement. It's at 102,000 miles. So, you know, it's very easy to work on, and when doing one of these timing belts, you don't want to just blindly replace the belt itself. Uh, you also want to check all the pulleys and accessories that the belt drives. For example, the water pump. And uh, the water pumps, I've never seen a water pump fail in a Subaru, an OEM one. So I don't touch those generally. <clears throat> uh, now we come to the idler pulleys. So we have this tooth pulley down here, just check for play. This one is smooth and uh, no play evident there. The, there are two more pulleys here, this idler up here. Again, just a little bit of play, still smooth. The one down here, yeah, it's a little wobbly. Um, it'll still work, but you know, that one I would replace. Uh, and the tensioner itself, the pulley is, again, very smooth, no play. And you want to look for oil on top of the hydraulic piston here, the tensioner unit, to make sure it's not leaking. And you can reuse these, no problem. So you see, made in Japan, NTN, the whole works. So, uh, what I usually do is I order the gates kit and I've had really good luck with these. Um, they come with quality OEM components here. They're all made in Japan. So actually they are just repackaged OEM pulleys. Uh, the belt is made in the US and the tensioner is also OEM. But in this case I opened the package. I was about to slap the parts on. You know, no big deal. And then check out what I discovered. First, the tensioner. I'm like, oh, okay. It says Japan on the pulley there. I was gonna put it on and wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You notice any difference here? Hmm, let's go check the other one. Let's just bring it over here. See that? Not the same. This is the first time in a Gates kit that I'm seeing components. See here the OEM one says Japan, NTN, has a uh, date stamp right there. Here we have a date stamp but it's the casting is different. There, are, There's no made in wherever, just a, some kind of part number right there. My money is on that this thing is made in China. I am not installing this on a Subaru. No way. Not gonna happen. I'm gonna reuse the old tensioner. What the heck? Uh, looking at the pulleys. This guy came in plastic wrap and this is the, the one that was loose. You know, on the bottom it says, let's see here. NSK, Japan, exactly the same as the OEM, which is what I expect from Gates. And that's what I've gotten before. But, looking at the tooth pulley. Wah, wah, wah. Tidy. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm not installing that either. And this last pulley, the smooth one that goes towards the top. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gates, this is not cool. What happened to OEM quality? I am very thoroughly disappointed. Uh, I've never had this happen before. So. 
I'm gonna see what's up because on the box, <clears throat> right here, I looked up all the part numbers. It's all made in Japan except for the belt, which is made in the US. So, three of these, the, let's see, the tensioner, we have a mystery item, and the two pulleys are made in China. So, only two of the five promised components are made where they said they would be made. So we're going to call up Gates here, see if we can talk to a representative, and see what's going on. So, in this case, I either want the correct components sent, or I want my money back, because I'm not getting what is promised by, by the manufacturer. So let's give him a call, see what happens. Oil rigs to elevators, even ATMs, because if it moves you, there's a good chance Gates has a part in it. For the company directory, press 1. For technical support on the products we make, press 2. For automotive customer service, press 3. If you're calling about human resource assistance with automotive replacement products or Blade Runner lawn and garden belts, please press 4. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, I just bought a Gates kit, a uh, timing belt kit for my 2010 Subaru Legacy. Okay. And uh, on the box it says that, you know, all the parts are made in Japan and uh, that's what, I've actually bought these kits before. Um, but now, when I open it up, I see several of the components are made in China, especially the tensioner and two of the idler pulleys. Can you explain that? Um, I cannot, um, okay, uh, give me, uh, just a second and let me see if I can find an answer for you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes? Okay, thank you so much for holding for sure. me. Sure. Give me just one moment, let me transfer to someone who will be able to answer that question. Okay, great, thank okay. you. Absolutely, sir. One moment. You're questioning the uh, component parts? Uh, yes. Yes, hello. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, uh, I do the Subaru research. Uh, uh -huh. I don't make the decision on where the stuff comes from. That's right. a marketing decision. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, but the, it wouldn't be of any lesser quality. Uh, normally, we go back to... Uh, whoever was the OE supplier. Uh, if we're unable to do that, we have to find a secondary supplier, which uh -huh. might, might have been what happened there. I see. Okay. Um, well, uh, why doesn't the box say uh, made in China then uh, instead of made in Japan? Why is it labeled wrong? Uh, well, that I don't know. Um, should I send the kit back or can I get a refund for the parts that uh, I'm not going to use because I'm not putting on Chinese parts on my Subaru? Uh, yeah, you can send it back where you got it, yeah. Um, okay. Well, I'm using like half the kit, it turns out, so I guess I have to talk to the, the retailer then? Yeah, correct. Okay. Alright, uh, thanks for the information. Alright, have a good day. Yeah, no problem. Bye. So that's what they said. They don't know why it's labeled wrong. They went to a secondary supplier because they uh, couldn't source the couldn't source the um, OEM parts. I guess that that kind of sucks. So maybe let's call Rock Auto where I got the kit and see what they say. Representative, for fast service, please have your order number ready. We're very sorry to keep you waiting. You may press zero to return to the main menu, press one to leave a message for customer service, or continue to hold. For fast service, please have your order number ready. Rock Auto, how can I help you? Oh, hi. Um, I recently ordered a Gates timing belt kit for my 2010 Subaru Legacy on Rock Auto. Uh, and Yeah, and I received it, and on the box, it says, you know, all the parts are made in Japan, OEM quality, but I open the box and three of the parts are made in China. Um, 
and I don't want to install you know Chinese parts on my Subaru what would I do in this case? Okay, we don't guarantee where the parts are manufactured okay um, I mean that's obviously that's Gates you know it's their their issue uh, do they have a warranty on their product? yeah but they're not going to warranty out a product because of where it was manufactured Okay, well, it is labeled wrong, so it's misleading. Uh, that That's an issue. How, how is it labeled? Uh, it's labeled, all the components in the kit are labeled made in Japan on, on the box, but when I open the box and look at the actual components, they're labeled made in China. Well, the kit was made in Japan. Uh, well, what does that mean? It means that all the components are assembled and put into a kit in Japan. Um, well, the the individual components, like it says, you know, pulley number one says made in Japan, but looking at the pulley, it says made in China. How, how, I don't see how that makes sense. Okay, so what's the order number? It is four seven six three one zero four six. Mm -hmm. I will give you a call back. At well, that's promising. Maybe they'll listen to the Rock Auto representative more than uh, they did to me. So, um, yeah, we'll see where this goes. Hopefully they'll call me back. Hello? Hello? Hi, this is Jonathan at Rock Auto calling you back. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just talked to Gates. Okay. Oh, Possibly you talk to them as well. Uh huh. Um, so they said, yeah, uh, the the parts aren't guaranteed to be made in Japan. Uh, they may have been at one point, but that's no longer the case. So, uh -huh. I mean, the option I have for you is I can warranty out the entire kit and get you a refund, but we can't guarantee mm -hmm. that you'll get parts made in Japan. I see. I see. Okay. Well, that's that's too bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. At this point, I mean, I I need to get the car back on the road, so I'm gonna install the components that I can and leave the Chinese ones out. And uh, I guess I won't be buying Gates kits anymore. Fair That's, enough. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well. Uh, you have a good day. Yeah. I appreciate your help. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. That's it, guys. Sad news. Um. I've always been a fan of these, and they're let me down, but now I don't know what the only other option is. Go OEM only, or I think ASIN still stands by uh, their quality, you know, made in, made in Japan, <laughs> promise, I don't know. But I think this is unacceptable when they write stuff like this, and then you get stuff like this. So, in this case, we're leaving the original tensioner. Uh, I'm just replacing, you know, this pulley. The, the, luckily, it's the, the only one that's loose on the car. And that's about it. That's all we can do. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.